Hello, welcome to another CSS video. This is Lucas. In this video, we'll go over how we can add a background in CSS. So we'll go over how we can add, for example, a color background or we can how we can add an image. And there's a couple of extra little small things that we can do. So firstly, we have this div uh, created. And um, the div just contains a header and two paragraphs, and we have a bit of a CSS in here. We just set the height to 300 pixels and the width to 300 pixels. And if you look at our web page here, this is how it looks like so far. I do have a border around here, just because I will have to demonstrate something, so I just added a border. And then this is the style sheet that we have. You can see this is the border that I added that we went over in the last video. But now we're going to be going over the background. So the first step is how can we change the color of our background? So all we have to do for that is write background color. And now we can just specify whatever color we want. Let's say I just want aqua. And we can save that. Go back here and you can see that the background changes. So we can also specify the opacity. So what we can do is we can specify opacity and then we just give it a percentage. So we do the 0 0.5. So now the opacity of this background is 0 0.5, as you can see. Um, there is another way that we can add the background color. So if we remove this, right, and we also remove the color. So now what we now what we do is we just specify the a color using the RGBA uh, format that I went over, I think, two, vid two videos ago uh, in the video colors. So we'll specify RGBA, okay? And now here we will specify um, the colors that we want. So let's say, let's do zero here. For example, let's do zero. Then here we'll do zero as well. And then we'll just do one, two, eight over here. So this is just the RGB color. And now this alpha is again the opacity. So if you do a 0 0.3 this time, opacity. I'll just add a semicolon here. Now if we go back to our page, you can see that we have changed the color. So that's how we can that's how we can add the background color. I will go back to what we had before. It just says aqua. And then the next part is we're gonna tr we're gonna add an image to the back of this. So I'm actually gonna remove this as well. So I do have an image here saved in our folder. So we can add that image as our background. So instead of doing background color, we just have to do background image. And then we have to type in the URL. And now in here we specify the URL that we want to. Well, we just specify the image, the URL to the image. We do in double quotes as well. So since this is in my page, I can just link this exact image. So just image the JPEG. Now, if you save this, we go back to our page. We refresh this. You can see we have the image. Now, the whole image is not in uh, this frame because this, the image is too big for the width and height that we have. We have the height 300 and we have the width 300. Our image is a bit bigger than that so i will increase this to 700 and 700 we save that we go back and here you can see we have our, our image now you can see that the image does repeat uh, so like this is the size of, of our image but because the border is bigger uh, we overlap it basically we repeat the image so we need a way to stop that so what what we can use is we can use this thing called background repeat. And now there's a few things that we can do. So if, if we do no repeat, for example, that means our background will not repeat anymore and we'll just have one image for the background, even though the background is as big as our border here. So this is why I added the border. So you, you can see that this is the size of our image, but it will not extend any more further until you know for our border because we have the no repeat there are a couple of things we can do with this so we can specify for example um repeat which is just the default or we can repeat x or y 
So if we add this in, it will only repeat y word, so in the y direction, and then obviously x is in the other direction. But we do not want that. We want to do uh, no repeat, just so it looks good. Now the next part I'm going to do is we're going to position our image um, inside of our frame that we have. So all we have to do is we do background, and then we have this position. And now we can specify where we want it. So let's say I want it at the right top. Alright, at the right top. We save that. So I added the border in for this example as well. So if we refresh this, you can see that our image will be positioned to the right top of our of our border of our div that we have. We can specify, for example, uh, we can do let's say left bottom. So we do left bottom, and this will put the image at the left bottom of our div. So, that, so that's how we can position it. I, I will change this to the left top, which is just the default, but we will add it in anyway. Now the very last thing that I will go over is a little shortcut that we can use. So you can see that we have three options here. I will add in a, another one. I'll add, it, I'll add in the background color that we had before, which is this one here. Okay, so now if we go back to our image, we can see that our color or our background is there. Then anything else that isn't part of their image, the background color will be black. So we have to write four different uh, pieces to do this, but there is a way that we can add it all on, in one line. So, in, so we can remove all this now, right? And what we can do is, all we have to specify is background. It's very similar to the way that we've done borders in the, in, the, uh, in the last video. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to specify what color we want. So let's say we want the color black. Uh, color, white, uh, color black. Okay, so that's the first part that we have to specify. Next, we specify the actual image that we want. So we do a URL, then we specify the image path, which for us is just image uh, image jpeg the next part is i just make this a bit bigger the next part that we have to specify is if we want to repeat or if you don't want to repeat so let's say we want to do i know repeat in here and the very last part though we have to do no repeat oh because i added this in here like that so no repeat and the very last part we have to do is the position and let's say we want it at the left bottom, like this. So this here just adds in the background color, the background image. Then we have, if you if want to repeat the image or not, and then the last one is the position. Let's make it bigger so you can see. Right here. Now if we go to our page again, you can see that it all it does it all in one line. I will change this to the top because we can't actually see the text. So we go back and here we go. There we go. Easy as that. So that's about it for this video on the background in CSS. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.